We all like to get away now and again. And what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here across the week as we check in to five hotels so we can check them out for you. You wouldn't expect to find a hotel right inside the airport terminal, would you? But there is one such hotel at Gatwick Airport South and it's the Block Hotel. So we are staying here for one night before our flight tomorrow. It wasn't that easy to find. You have to go through these set of security doors to this um, storage area and then we take a lift up to the hotel. Welcome to our lovely room. It is a rather compact room. So you have the bed here, four pillows. There's also a light and charging area and a couple of bottles of water. There's a screen on this wall there is the window i think this part of the building is erected and it's impeding our lovely view of outside but i think this room is better than a room that has no window at all now let's look at the bathroom okay so here is the sink area and the toilet is right next to it. And here we have the shower right next to everything else without any partition. It's good that they give you this block magazine. It's sort of like an airline magazine. They also give you two bottles of water to keep you hydrated. And we do get loads of discounts at some of the retailers at Gatwick Airport. This is probably one of the most important things is that you get priority security check-in. So you get to bypass a lot of the other passengers because we have stayed at the Block Hotel at Gatwick. And there's more. Come on, let's see what else they have to offer. I think that this leads to the vending machines. <laughs> Do we have to pay for this? I don't see any price. Shall I make one? So, should we have like a coffee? You want a tea? So let's have a coffee. So let's have maybe a flat white. Oh wow. I am really impressed that I don't have to put any coins in or make any payments. This might keep me awake, but I think it's pretty nifty. This machine is really great to have because we don't really have a kettle inside the hotel room. So this definitely makes up for it and it's kind of like a cafe style service. So cheers everyone. Oh look, there is a plane taking off right overhead. If you wanted to control the lights and also the blinds, here is this nifty control panel. So the first one is some of the lights. I don't know which ones, but then we'll find out together. 
So this is to turn off all the lights. Hit it again to turn it back on. Hit the next one over to have on certain lights near the door and the toilet. Turn it, that back off. The next light is just in this bedroom. Um, the next function down here is the air conditioning. The next feature is control of the blinds. Goodbye world. Goodbye. I think it's time for bed now. And to open it, you press the one further to the left. So it's very good that it's all very compact and it's all on one unit and it's very user friendly. So this gets a, th a thumbs up for me. I know that you need to make a confession. You have not subscribed to our show, but there's still time to do it. Just hit the subscribe button. Yes, so this was a really nice stay. I think I slept solidly for about six hours, which is pretty good for me on a good day. I think we have one bad criticism um, about the shower. So once you go in, it basically wets everything um, because there's no partition. So I, th so we had to use the hand towels to wipe down all the surfaces otherwise we would be slipping and falling i think it would have been better if there was like a separate area for the shower but i think under the circumstances and maybe because this is a really tiny area just for the bathroom they couldn't it wasn't possible so I think that was the only bad thing. I uh, we loved the fact that there was a coffee facility. I had some hot chocolate last night, and I had a flat white this morning. I think another plus point is that it's so close to the airport. We're basically at the airport, so we don't have to wake up, get ready, and run around frantically trying to catch our flight. So I would recommend the Block Hotel, but there are some issues with the shower as I pointed out. But overall, it was a pretty enjoyable stay. And maybe you would also want to stay here if you ever were to fly out of Gatwick. Until next time, bye bye.